And then what you say, how you miss me Yeah, you miss me And all the things that we did We said we're gonna travel from the islands to Madrid We had a lot of plans, but they Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe I'm so excited to be talking to you guys today Happy New Year, welcome to 2023 Welcome, welcome, and welcome to today i'm just going to be talking to you guys about the perfumes that i got for christmas so i had a little christmas list and i wrote down some of the perfumes i had always wanted for a while now and some of those perfumes were checked out of the list and i'm so excited to show you guys the ones that were checked out also I have a review for you guys. I'm also going to be reviewing some perfume oils, so stay tuned for that and let's get right on into the video. No time to waste. The first perfume I got is Chanel Chan's uh, Tudre. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the way it's supposed to be pronounced. So, Chanel Chan's a Tudre. It's a small bottle. I think this is the 1.2 ounce, so it's a small one, but it's very nice. A little goes a long way, and the reason why I kept this on my Christmas list was because I wanted like an everyday scent and something I could wear to the gym as well. Figured, yeah, Chanel Chance and Tudre would be a very nice one that I can wear at any time and I won't have to bother about in someone so it's a very soft perfume and it was just perfect it was a really perfect one and I'm really excited about it one perfume I got is the Burberry Elixir this is a new one that just came out last year I think it's, it's going to replace it, it's not really replacing though, but I know the Burberry Intense got discontinued, so this might have taken its place because it came out last year, but this is the Elixir, and I find it to be just like the Intense version of this one, so yeah, I wanted this in my collection, and Someone got it for me, so I'm so excited about this one because it really smells so good. Like, it smells really good, so I'm just going to spray it. Oh, yeah, it smells like um, strawberries, raspberries. It's very fruity, but at the same time, it's, it's really nice, you know. It's really nice to pull off easily so i'm really excited about this one so the next one actually the last perfume i got was ysl libre intense this is a new bottle i'm so excited because you guys know that i love this perfume so much so i'm so excited about that because it's going to replace my old bottle soon I haven't run out of this one just yet, but I'm so glad that someone got me this so that I won't have to bother about this running out. So, for now, I have two bottles, two bottles of this until this one runs out. And if you do not have YSL Libre Intense in your collection, I do not know what you are doing. You need to go get it. You need to go get it. It's it gives everything. It gives the money, rich, classy, everything, expensive. You get so much compliments on this one. So you need to go get YSL Libre Intense in your collection. So yeah. Let's do it. So yeah talking to you guys about some sweet arabian 
perfume oils that have had me in a choke hole. It just smells so good. Literally, I don't know why people are not talking about this one because why? So the first one I'm going to be telling you guys about is Leali. The second one is Leali Rouge. These are bought by Swiss Arabian, the um, Middle Eastern perfume house. And these are perfume oil. They're actually not perfumes. They tend to perform better than some perfumes like some other perfumes so this and this chalk old like literally i think they have other types i have i hear they had um yuali yulali amali other types and the bottles are so gorgeous like let's get into the bottles like the bottles are beautiful beautiful and oh no we are going to compare the both of them and we are going to talk about these two perfumes. We will talk to you guys about Yali. So this is it. It's the one that comes in the purple color. Yeah. So this one. And this is the bottle. This is it. Like the perfume oil is literally right there. I think I'm going to spray it on my skin. And you just rub it in. Rub it in on your palm, and that's it. You can layer this with Vaseline so that it can last way longer, you know. But it's still going to last because it's a perfume oil and it's going to absorb into your skin clean. Like my sister says, it smells clean and it just smells warm, warm and clean. I'm just going to read off some of the notes so that you would better understand how this fragrance smells like. The top notes are plum, black currant, and orange blossom. The middle notes are lang lang, jasmine and rose. Base notes are agar wood and amber. But it doesn't have any clean notes in it. But this smells. This smells clean, like. It doesn't give that soapy vibes it just smells like put together it smells really put together like just beautiful like beautiful yeah it kind of smells fruity but then i can't really smell the fruit in here i just smell something that is clean and something that i can't even describe myself it seems like the notes the notes in here do not align with what i smell like so this perfume goes well with my body chemistry because i really can't describe what it smells like but my sister tells me it smells so good on me and whenever my sister wears it as well it smells really good on her as well so this one this is one of those um perfume perfume oils that you can just get because it's very affordable i got this for like 23 dollars on amazon i got it for like 23 dollars it's not expensive at all and you can use this to layer your perfumes like if you have perfumes that do not last do not last as long on your skin you can always apply this first and wait 15 this is a 15 m m m l don't be deceived i know the bottle is a bit it's bigger than what you think but it's just like a little bottle in there and the rest the rest of it is empty so not much in here but i think there's a lot for a perfume oil in here as well I'm like i'm so sorry for the guys watching this but this lens feminine very feminine i do not think men would like this so i'm sorry but yeah there is leali and there is leali rouge oh my god guys leali rouge is on another level this one is the best 
I will tell you guys which one I prefer at the end of this video but for now she is everything that you want to have in your collection she's that girl like you can literally pair this with any perfume and you're gonna love this you're gonna love this one if you are a girl that loves fruity scents like scents that smell like fruit you're gonna love this because it's very fruity and it's just nice it's blended in so well like so beautifully yeah it's just i'm just i'm just gonna put some on my hand i just need to smell it because this smells so good and i can't resist not putting it on me so yeah this smells it kind of smells very different from the layali it smells like yeah a fruity girl like a fruity kind of seductive thing like this one has gotten me so much compliments i can literally smell myself when i put it on i can literally smell myself and i'm like oh my god something smells so good then i realize that oh it's me i'm the one that smells so good so yeah <laughs> so i'm just gonna read off some of the notes like i said it's a floral fruity fragrance the top notes are hibiscus, sandalwood and coconut middle notes are peach and rose base notes mango papaya pineapple floral notes and lemon this is this is a fruity fragrance it's fruity there's just nothing you can tell me about this fragrance there's nothing bad about it in my opinion it's the ultimate summer fragrance i can't wait till the spring and summer to wear this because i know that i'm gonna love it like i can't wait i'm so excited to wear Leali Rouge because it gives me you know classy girl on a summer vacation kind of vibe oh gosh even though it's still a little bit cold I'm still gonna wear this I do not care I'm still gonna wear this so yeah like longevity is over the top I get about six hours from this I've not kept it on my clothes. I've not applied it on my clothes, but if I do, I will definitely give you a good feedback on that. So watch out for that. But everything else about this one is really good. I really do not have anything to complain about in regards to this one. So make sure to get this in your collection, girls. It also links feminine for the guys watching this. I'm so sorry, but these are for the girls like I'm putting the girls on so make sure to check this out girls like you need this in your collection it's playful it's like for every age anybody can wear this you know from teenager teenagers to adults to old people old women anybody can wear this which one do you think I'm going to prefer like which one do you think I like best? Because I do like both of them. I love the both of them. But there is definitely one because all things cannot be equal. We all know that. So there is definitely one that I like best. So which one do I like best? is a very hard choice to make because this is clean it's put together it's enticing it's just it's my type you know it's my type but this one she's me she's just that kind of girl i want to be so i cannot choose guys i can't choose but if I were to choose, 
if i had to have like just one i would definitely choose I'm going to choose Liali. Yes, guys. Yes, I'm going to choose Liali, not Liali Rue. As much as this smells really bomb, smells so good, I feel like I can always get this in another fragrance. But Liali is so unique. It's very unique to the point that I've been searching for something like this for a very long time. Something that is just genuinely clean. Like not like it's not it's not give that kind of soapy vibe. It doesn't give that soapy feeling that you just got out of the shower, but it gives clean, you know, someone that is just put together and this is the fragrance I've been looking for for a very long time so I can't give up something that I've searched for for a very long time I can't give it up just like that because I know this I can always find it in like fragrances like Lavia Airbell you know I can always find it in floral fragrances in um, Valentino Born in Roma those kind of fragrances but this, I can't find anything like it anywhere. So I'm going to stick with this. But they are both beautiful. Beautiful fragrances. Beautiful bottles. Nicely done. And I really hope you guys try this. And just get, get, just get your hands on at least one of them. But if I to choose, I'm going to choose this. I know most people will choose this. But that's just their preference. And... It's all good. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. It's 2023. Yay! I'm so excited for this I'm excited to continue on this YouTube journey and trying to be I'm trying to be consistent on making more videos about perfumes and vlogs. So just keep watching keep watching out for that and i'm going to see you guys in the next video please subscribe you know like comment engage stay blessed and i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice and blessed day bye and then what you say how you miss me yeah you miss me and all the things that we did